Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess. Good morning and welcome to Nassau, Bahamas. We are still at sea, but it is quarter to eight and we should be up in the port by about 8.45, 9 o'clock. So we're off for an excursion. I thought I would take this opportunity to share what is in my bag. This is my Lighten Up Grand Backpack in Dream Diamonds. This is what I've been using for all of my excursions off the ship. I do carry a backpack pretty much every day at home, but obviously a different internal stuff. But today is a, I don't want to say random day. We don't have any excursions. We're just going to go out on our own. We may hit the beach. We may go rent motor scooters. So we've got to kind of plan for some options, but carry a bunch of stuff. So first thing right away is we'll just go front pocket to back. The front pocket, I just have um, a pair of headphones. These are cheapo ones from an excursion on a previous cruise, like last week. But I saved them because they're actually better. They're for those whisper headsets when they're doing translation. Since I might need them again next week, I will keep them. I didn't take them out of my backpack because I didn't want to forget them later. Anyway, that's all that's in that front zipper pocket. This zipper pocket, by the way, is one of those awful metal zippers that I really, really hate. That's why I don't put much in there. I don't want to put my hand in and out of there, and it's a very thin pocket anyways. So, that's that one. The next pocket, actually far more functional, it has one little slip pocket up front. I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well, but it has a little elastic and a grommet so that you can put your charging cord and charger in that little spot and put your phone up front. I think that's the intent, or you can reverse it. Anyway, since I don't go in and out of that pocket and don't want to scratch my phone up anyway, I just use that for other things. Today, nothing. But in this pocket, I do have two things. I do have my phone for easy access with my Bramble phone case on it. And I also have my zip ID and lanyard, which I have my cruise card in. So very easy access some money, some ID, credit card, whatever I need to go out today. I started just a mini excursion wallet. Um, okay, the next pocket is one of the first of two main pockets. This one has a clear ID on the front, which obviously I'm not using, but you could. That's a great discreet area to hold like maybe your credit card while you're doing something. If someone gets your wallet out of your bag, pickpocket, then at least you have something safe there. Just a thought, I haven't done that because I usually have my lanyard and I'll tuck it inside my shirt, but Nassau is not one of those super dangerous places, so as long as I maintain control of my backpack, it should be no issue. I do have a sun hat uh, because if we end up on the beach, this white girl does not want to get burned. I have some wipes. I have Clorox wipes, regular wet wipes, and Purell wipes, so you're going to be too clean, especially after the beach. Sunglasses in my Batic Leaves sunglass case. I have several pens in the pen slots here. You can see that. I have several pens. I really don't need more than one, but I have a couple backups. A little notebook, which is the small spiral notebook set. Um, it comes in two. This is the smaller of the two, and this is Springtide Navy. I also have business cards, which for me is not so much business as it is contact. But you're out cruising, you meet friends, and you want to keep in touch, so you pass along your info. This little nifty contraption just snaps closed and you have two sides. You can fill it with your cards, as many as you want, really, because it holds quite a few. So I put that in there and everybody needs a little fan on a tropical paradise. This one needs just double A batteries. So there it is. It also is a flashlight on the other side. So nice little travel hack there. All right. In the zipper pocket here behind, I have just one thing, a poncho, just in case, you never know, it is tropical. We are actually expecting some rain today, I'm looking outside the balcony, but it looks like scattered clouds, I'll show you at the end of the video what the sky looks like out there. But I have my travel pouch trio, these are the nylon ones, not the lighten up, but the, like the super thin nylon ones that I got from the paper store. They do have a ring to hook them together, but I'm just leaving them separate. So in these, I have mints and gum and that kind of stuff you can hear rattling around. In this one, I have miscellaneous, just travel things like a nail file, some tissue, some tampons, because you never know. Got some little scent 
wipe things. These are lavender. I've got sunscreen, hair ties, lotion. Yeah, just, you know, some Motrin, uh, not Motrin, Aleve and Advil. And so anyway, the little things you might need out and about since you'll be gone all day from the ship. And then this one is little snacks, different things. So let's see what we have today. I have this little sour strip that I bought in Spain. Share with friends, of course. I have some hard candies, some Skittles, and a little trail mix. So just things, you know, not necessarily for me. I've been carrying these around for a month already, but you never know. Someone might need a little something. All right, so that is all that is in the front pocket. Let's put all that back in there. And that is pretty much my standard that I carry on my regular excursions where you're like, you're having a tour or something and you're going in and out of the bus and you can leave a bag on the bus and just take the pieces that you need and everything's safe and secure and you don't have to carry it around, but you have it with you. Anyway, more on that another time. There are a bunch of cruise videos coming I'm sorry for the delay. I know I've been absent for about three weeks, but I've been a little busy out exploring the world. So I do have pictures and videos and notes to share, and we'll get back to you on that. So thanks for your patience. And next up, I have a water bottle. This is just a um, bladder style, you know, like a clear plastic reusable. It's very flexible. It has a, a lid with a pop top to drink, and then it has this carabiner on the outside. I put that in this side pocket here, which is great. It is the expandable pocket. It doesn't need to be expanded for this, but a nifty little thing is I take the carabiner and I hook it on that rope there, and now that's not gonna fall out. Even if it does fall out, it won't get lost. Not that I'm worried about losing water, but that has come in handy many, many times as your bag's getting thrown all around. So, in the back pocket at the moment, there is nothing. There is this divider space there. I will get back to this pocket in a moment. And skip forward, there's nothing in the laptop pocket. Just a nice padded space. I don't need the padding today, but it's always nice to have between you and whatever's in your bag. So, on the back, I have a luggage tag. It just has my like cruise identified, or behind it, it has my business card anyway, but it just says, I basically I came from the ship, so. That's the backpack. Now, what am I putting in it for today? I have a few extra items to add, so that includes my swim cover-up, you know, just like a little pullover dress thing, because who knows? I have a swimsuit. Don't want to wear it around all day in case we don't go to the beach. I have a hand towel. This is actually a ship towel. I will, of course, return it. I have no desire to steal it or anything, but it's a great sweat towel when you're out and about, you know, you always run across heat and humidity in the tropics. So, beach towel. This is a ship towel that I checked out from the pool. I'll just put that in the laptop area since it's relatively flat. At least for now, while it's folded. Um, and I'll close that up. Then, lotion. Why? Because it's a hot day and we're in a tropical area and I don't want to get burned. So I have generously applied it already, but here it is for repeats. I've got some bug spray some other kind of sunscreen and then the roll-on sunscreen and this is my springtide navy clear lotion bag that'll fit right in here and a ditty bag because if we do go swimming i'm going to want to change out of the wet clothes most likely so i have just a ditty bag this is a lighten up version it is the regular bucket style and it's lined in plastic it is an older style, so it is sewn in in the bottom, which I like. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that already. So to me, that just it's just better. Um, this one has a rubber label on the front with the signature of Air Bradley on it. And this one is pink tonal stripe. It has single pull. Anyway, so ditty bag. That can just go right in here. And the last thing have this little mesh bag that has my snorkel and mask in case we decide to get in the water. Then at least we'll have some fun while we're there. So, I'm gonna zip all that up. There's plenty of room for more stuff in this bag, but no need to overload it unnecessarily. And 
there we go. So all packed and ready for the excursion. And take one moment to set this aside and I will show you the outside. All right, here we go. Looking, first of all, okay, this is where I was sitting. You got the room and then outside. I'll try and make this so you can see. Beautiful day. Let's look at the water. Hang on. Very calm, slowing down, coming into port. You can see land. We're almost there. So, this is my room. We've got also patio. Not so bad. Go back in. Whoop. Yeah, I didn't really make my bed, but anyway. So, that's it for this one. Bye for now.